What's going on guys? It is Cynical and guys welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 PlayStation 4 60 frames 4k if it's on the PlayStation 4 Pro Edition. What's going on guys? And welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2. This is part 9. Hopefully you guys had an absolutely fantastic relaxing weekend. Uh, I know I actually ended up kicking back. I got a little bit busy throughout the weekend uh, with a few things on the personal side of things but with all that being said, I had a pretty good weekend, kicked back a bit, it's always good. Played some video games, actually getting my ass back into the Fallout phase as of right now, so that's that's kind of consuming a bit of my life, but it's all good. Video games are love, video games are life. But guys, like I was saying, welcome back to part 9. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to be making our way to the town of Genies. Uh, we're going to be getting sand in our pants, sand in our crack, it's gonna be a fantastic time arena. Uh, obviously, in the last part, we sailed the seven seas. We helped Captain Jack Sparrow. Well, more so, we actually helped out Will. I don't really know how we sort of assisted Captain Jack Sparrow. We got a ship back and all that, which is which, which is pretty good on his behalf. But this time around, we're making a visit to, of course, Agrabah to help out Aladdin and the gang. So it's gonna be a good time. Um, now. <laughs> I don't want to go ahead and say, oh, you know, like, for the most part, Agrabah is pretty damn easy, because I can already see it now, if I end up saying something like that, we're gonna have a rough and tough time uh, in Agrabah, but low-key, for the most part, Agrabah is pretty straightforward, like, the first boss encounter um, during the first visit, you know, the two, like, the fire and ice dude, they're pretty easy, you can just swing those dildo sticks around and have a really good time, it's party central in this bitch, but anyway, guys, let's get going uh, let's go to the ancient highway. Um, really quick before we get into it though, I just want to say what's up to the subscribers. Uh, Chaos, what's going on dude? Thanks so much for 29 months. 29 months, almost 30. That is, that's crazy dude. Uh, let's get zesty tonight with Big Shoes McGee. And you know what they say about Big Shoes? They need big feet. And you know what they say about big feet? Oh, we're starting off spicy today. Chaos, what's good, man? Thank you so much for the 29 months of support. Uh, the West Fire, what's going on, dude? Chronicle Chrom, Slade, my man. How's it going, dude? Naiden, Super, we got Super in here. What's going on, dude? Ash, how is it going, guys? We're just going to scroll up. Blazing, how's it going? Uh, gamer Player, Professor Who, guys. It's good to have the familiars in here, and the subscribers, and the rest of you dudes. Hopefully you are having an absolutely fantastic Monday Areno, slash Tuesday Areno, depending on where you are on planet Earth. <laughs> but anyway guys, without further ado, let us jump in to the ancient highway. I've got the... What is this? I've got the right earbud in the left ear. That's not gonna work. That ain't gonna work, son. That ain't gonna work. Oh, actually, real quick, real quick, um... Your boy forgot to open something up. Alright, there we go. We're good. We're good. Why is it telling us how to roll now? I mean, we've pretty much visited all gummy ship routes thus far. Why are you telling us how to roll just now, my dude? <laughs> Game, come on. You gotta be a bit faster than that. You gotta be a bit faster than that. Um, we have a $10 Smackerino donation from Destiny. What's going on, Destiny? Thank you so much for the 10 Smackerinos. Uh, hope for no wrecks. Fingers crossed. That's always the hope. I mean, some episodes we get a little bit juicy, we get a little bit lucky, and we pull through with no wrecks, but I think we're getting into that part of KH2 where things are starting to pick up a bit. Although you've got me here saying, like, oh, well, this world's not going to be that hard, and then, of course, you know, like, 40 minutes later, your boy's getting anal-fisted by the fucking parrots of the Great Caribbean, so, you know, it's... Sometimes it can turn out to be not too good, but uh, that is the hope, Destiny. I'm going to try for no ranks today, <laughs> and we'll see how far that gets us. We have a, a massive bear blade trying to chase our ass down as of right now. Speaking of which, I miss bear blades. I mean, I'm sure they're probably still going, but they're probably, like, evolved into, like, some other crazy... You know how, like, cartoons and stuff get continued, like, nowadays from, like, the childhood? And they just turn into these, like, really weird, like, unrecognizable things. I mean, either that or they end up getting, like, cancelled. A, a, a good example is Teen Titans, like, they made Teen Titans go. Why? Why? No, why'd you do that to Beast Boy and Robin? No, 
No, it's just, it's not good. But anyway, yeah, speaking of Blade Blades, man, I used to love that shit. We used to bring that stuff to school all the time, and like, actually at lunchtime and interval. We used to have these, like, little Bear Blade battles and stuff, uh, during what you guys call elementary school, we call it primary school. But, um, those are good times, and you used to, like, get different pieces and, like, make your own Bear Blade sets and stuff. So cool, so cool. Childhood memories, man, childhood memories. Oh god, just keep dodging, just keep dodging, just keep dodging, just- that's a lot of rings! Sonic would be proud. Sonic would be proud, Mr. Oh, I remember this thing! Okay, so we've got to actually watch our ass. This thing right here will actually kill us, and I'm confident about that. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. Oh, <laughs> we're good! I remember on the uh, first critical run that we did here on Twitch, uh, I ended up dying on that thing like two or three times. It was a pain in the nipple, but we uh, we persevered, so we're good, guys. We're good. Uh, Arox, uh, Akarox, official. What's going on, dude? Thanks so much for the two smackerinos. Good morning from Germany. Glad to catch your stream. And when you say good morning, I, I take it it really is morning. I think you uh, donated last time, dude, and you're saying it was like 3 a.m. So, uh, what's going good with the dedication, uh, Akarox? Thanks so much for the uh, two smackerinos, man. Digimon is better than Pokemon. Now look, um, I feel like within the next 15 seconds, I could possibly get harpooned. But uh, yes, I do agree. <laughs> I was always that Digimon kid, man. I never really kind of fell into the whole Pokemon thing uh, as a kid. Digimon, on the other hand, though, amazing. Yes, I am a huge Digimon fan. Will always be. That's the childhood right there. That is the childhood. I know. I'm. I'm about to get harpooned. I feel like I'm about to get harpooned as of right now. Why not both? I mean, if I was that kid who got into both, then it would be both. But as as a child, I never really got into Pokemon. Um, the DVDs and stuff that I'd always get, I'd always come across the Digimon ones, and that's sort of how I got into Digimon, I guess. Hey, maybe Riku's. And of course, playing on PlayStation, um, there were like. Well, obviously there's no Pokemon games on like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. And so obviously there were quite a few different, um, what's it call it, Digimon games on like Digimon Rumble Arena, Digimon World, Digimon World 2 and all that sort of stuff. It's Yago! Oh god, we gotta change the monochrome. Look at that thick blade right there, dude. Look at that thick blade. Guys, thank you so much for the crazy support. We just got donations flooding in. I'm gonna get through them uh, as we progress. Thank you guys so much. Awesome start to uh, a new week of streaming. So we're gonna be dealing with Mr. Impressive Bear today. He's back, but he's back in ghost form. Although I think that's the second visit, actually. I wanna apologize to Alive Man Jasmine. Could you guys maybe put in a good word for me? Sure! We can do that, can't we? Goofy, you're too nice. I'm, I'm saying you just, you're just too nice. This man tried to, like, put us in the dog box last time we were in Sand Village. And now you're here giving the man a second chance. You're just, you're too kind, Goofy. You're too kind, man. We gotta change this Keyblade, though. Although our magic is strong. We need a, um, also shortcut Thunder. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Alright, beautiful. I have to say, I love the uh, Keyblade effects though of the monochrome. Like, I don't really use this Keyblade, so. I haven't really seen the Keyblade effects, but like the sort of black and white stars and stuff that come out. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. And that's like one thing that I'm gonna definitely be uh, paying attention to. Oh god, oh god, we were getting like cut up right there, dude. That's one thing I'm gonna be paying attention to throughout Kingdom Hearts 3, the beautiful particle effects, because Square Enix nailed particle effects, especially when it comes to Kingdom Hearts. And I'm looking forward, like, this is kind of like one of those sort of smaller details that I'm looking forward to within Kingdom Hearts 3, but I am looking forward to those Keyblade effects, son. Give me stars, give me circles, give me glowy thingy madoos. Just give me those beautiful particle effects, man. Uh, Slade, what's going on, dude? Thanks so much for the dollar uh, donation right here. The Slade-tastic jokes return. How does a wife know if her husband has a high sperm count? She has to chew before swallowing. <laughs> oh my god, Slade. You... 
you, you're taking it to the neck level, dude. Oh my god. Oh my. We're gonna we're gonna have to cleanse for that one, I think. Just a sip cleanse, but. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Uh, by the way, guys, th this is Slade. He is our local joke master. He comes up with all the spicy and sometimes explicit jokes. If you guys don't know him, get to know him because he's a regular around here and he's kind of made a uh, bit of a name for himself. Same goes with uh, Psychotic Daniel as well as Nerdy. But for the regulars, you guys know all about those people. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Slade. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to blast through these donations because they are stacking up. Professor Who, what's going on, dude? Thanks so much for the one bang arena. What's up, man? Can't stay for long. Fucking book reports. Oh, dude, book reports. Oh, dude. That brings back some, some nightmares, to be honest. Quick question, what do you think of chemistry? What do I think of chemistry? What sort of chemistry are we talking about, my man? Now, um, I, I gather you mean, um... You know, just normal. Actually, it's funny, My one of my mates ended up coming over yesterday and we kind of, we got onto the subject of talking about school subjects. And uh, throughout high school, he really enjoyed maths. And I'm like, I'm, I was just sitting here like, I don't understand you, dude. Like, I don't know many people that really do enjoy maths. Like, obviously, there's people out there that will enjoy maths. But I was like, I, I don't understand that. Um, but we both came to the agreement that we hated science. Like, science I just couldn't deal with. I think chemistry is interesting, the practical side of it, but I, I think it's the theory side of it that absolutely ruined me, like the, uh, the fucking, the book work and all of that. Um, yeah, not the goods, not the goods. So, chemistry is like, one side of chemistry is, is kind of cool, using the Bunsen burner, mixing the, you know, all that. The practical side is cool, but I think the theory side of me, like, that really destroys me. It, it does. <laughs> Alright, so I think we've got some new slots here. Alright, what we'll do is we'll put on the fire bangle. Because plus two defense, you can't complain. Plus two defense. Um... Donald and Goofy, oh my god, you know what we need to do? And we're gonna do it right now, because if I don't do it now, I'm gonna forget, you guys know me. Um, we're gonna go to Hollow... Okay, yeah, no, we can't do it. We're gonna go to Hollow Bastion, and we're gonna stock up really fast. This is one thing we need to do, get some new rings, get some new equipment. It's gonna be all good, it's gonna be all good. Uh, Super, my dude, what is going good? Good to have you in here, like I was saying. Uh, thank you so much for the 15 bangaroos. Big man, what's up? Glad to make it out to another stream. Hope you're having a chin-tastic day. Oh, dude, always. The chin's always shining. You gotta really just oil this stuff up. It's shining. It's going good. It's going fantastic. We're chinning out today, my dude. <laughs> Thanks so much, Super. Shout out to you, man, for the continuous crazy support as per usual. And we also need to change our keyboard. We gotta stop talking about this and actually put our words into practice. Alright. See, we don't usually, like, kind of do this sort of thing, like, stock up and sort of prepare ourselves. Usually we just, like, dive into the world and hope for the best. So today we're gonna sort of mix things up a little bit. We've got Follow the Wind, but I think... Alright, I think we'll go back to Hera's Crest. Now let's get those items. <laughs> I always feel sorry for Donald and Goofy, like... You know, for the most part, they don't generally pull through, but I've, I've got to say, this playthrough, I'm really impressed with Donald. You deserve a little bit of a treat, man. You deserve a little bit of a treat. So we've got Chain Gear. Alright, Victory Bell and Chain Gear. There we go, fellas. There we go, fellas. A little bit of a reward for your juiciness recently. Let's put that on. Victory Bell. Oh, that stat increase. That stat increase. Ah, uh, some new rings, some new rings. Ah, uh, McDo, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for the one bangaroo, dude. Hey, hey, Jared, I'm glad to catch your stream at the very start. Work's been mostly nights, so I usually catch you by the near end of the streams, but I got nights off this week, so I can binge your streams all night long. Well, it's good to know that you're gonna be part of the crazy adventure throughout this week, dude. It's good to know that you've got those nights off. Kick back, relax with some cynical craziness. It's good to have you here, man. Thanks so much for the support. Um, yeah, I'll buy another Sardinox ring for me. Because you got to treat yourself every so often, am I right? 
All right, there we go. Okay, all right, sweet. Yeah. And, uh, all right, we've changed Keyblade. Let's look at abilities really fast. The dodge Slash. <laughs> the ability that literally makes enemies dodge your Slash. No, seriously, you really do not want to use Dodge Slash. <laughs> Aerial Finish? Hell yes. Um, item boost. Always good. Okay, all right. I think we're good. Actually, one other thing. One other thing before I forget. Alright, I'm gonna put Thunder here. Oh, we got Reflect. Wait till we get Reflect. Ref reflect Ra. Um, okay, we're good. I think that's looking a lot better. We're more prepared this time around. Can we synthesize anything, though? That is the burning question. That is the burning question. Um, uh, free development. Power band extremely increases defense. That's some juicy stuff. Um, recipes. What else we got? Okay, nothing else. Okay. All right, good. It's gonna help out. It's gonna help out. There we go. Four defense. Juicy, juicy. Okay, guys, we are prepared. We are now stocked up. We've got this. We've got this. Oh yeah, we should also uh, look at uh, Donald and Goofy's abilities too. Oh god, look at this. We've got to keep up to date. We have to keep up to date. Now, I'm sort of feeling Fantasia. I think I might actually have Fantasia on there. Okay, we'll have Fantasia. It's actually a pretty damn good limit. Oh, he's got second chance. Goofy, I'm jealous. We'll put on Goofy Tornado. Okay. That's good. That's looking good. We're kind of ahead of the game this time around. Alright, beautiful. We've got that aerial finish. A classic move. A classic move. Uh, the West Fire, what's going on, dude? Thanks so much for the five bangaroos. So, my boy, I just wanted to confirm something that I've been thinking since the release year of Kingdom Hearts 3 was announced. Can we expect a 24 hour stream uh, of Kingdom Hearts 3 when it comes out? So, the way that. I have explained this before, but the way that the uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 series is going to work is basically the moment I get it, I am going to be recording uh, parts. So it's not going to be a stream let's play like kind of what we're doing with the rest of the Kingdom Hearts games. It is going to be a completely recorded, like a little bit more quality actually put into the series because obviously Kingdom Hearts 3, it's a huge deal. It's a, it's a massive fucking deal. Um, so the series in which, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 will work will be a recorded Let's Play series, you know, obviously with the base cam, similar to the way I did 0.2, uh, pretty much. Um, so that's the way that that's going to work. But of course, um, I'm going to be banging that out and hopefully, like, I don't know how long Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to take, but I'm going to sit there all day, the first day I get it, and just record part after part after part after part. It's going to be hard because obviously I'm going to want to just play the game and not have to go into, you know, recording mode. But we have been waiting a very long time for this. I'm very- I'm gonna be extremely dedicated to this series. It will pretty much be the most important series to hit the channel. Um, but of course I want all of my reactions like fully recorded towards every little thing that happens in that game. My first reaction to just playing the gameplay, um, experience certain, you know, certain different story events and stuff. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be one hell of a ride. But, um, speaking of streaming towards Kingdom Hearts 3, we will eventually get around to streaming it. That just pretty much goes without saying. I think my first critical run of the game, because when I do the series, I'll probably end up playing it on either Proud or Standard. Just have kind of like a breezy playthrough to actually get a, get a, get the hang of the game, because it's going to be introducing a lot of new mechanics and whatnot. But I think my first critical run of Kingdom Hearts 3 Jasmine. will be live here on Twitch. So, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. <laughs> But that's the way that the Kingdom Hearts 3 series is going to work. I'm looking so forward to it, man. Oh my god. Next gen. Next gen. We're getting close. Trix, what's going on? Cello to you, too. Welcome to the stream. All in a day's work. But, uh, it looks like the Heartless are up to no good again. Is there any way Yeah, look at those stealth tactics, dude. I think we're alright for now. And you always got Aladdin. He hasn't been himself lately. Then he, then he's just not there. He has a big width. 
Then Goofy's back. So what's going on? Where's Iago gone? <laughs> He leaves the palace and goes off by himself all the time. I've asked him about it. But I'll probably be out of high school involved. by the time it comes out. <laughs> I mean, I was not expecting myself to be out of high school by the time Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out. But by the time Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, I would have been out of high school for three years. Uh, three and a bit years. So it, it's kind of crazy how long we've been waiting now. I feel you, King. I feel you. Iago's not. I'll get you into saying Chalo is your standard greeting someday. I mean, I see it every time you join the stream, uh, Trix, you're always like, Chalo, Chalo. Chalo. Like, one day I will, ca I will catch on to it. I will definitely catch on to it. Chalo Reno, how's it going, Reno? He's gotta be somewhere in town, right? Good idea. I wonder what he's been doing. Uh, probably not much. Oh, we've got the meme face coming up. We have the meme face coming up, guys. Hi, Sora. Come back here. What's up, Baggy Pants? How's it going, dude? <laughs> you know, it's been like a year or so since I've seen you, but how's it going? If you can't control that furball, put a leash on him. Look, I'm sorry. You should be ashamed of yourself, Abu. Uh, no hard feelings? <laughs> Damn, Naiden, that's a long time, dude. That's a that's a lengthy amount of time. Hey guys, uh, sorry about earlier. I was kind of in a hurry. What happened? No kidding. <laughs> you know, Abu, you no kidding, dude. Off that lamp. <laughs> <laughs> no talking your way out of this one. <laughs> so I get that Aladdin speaks monkey. That that's quite impressive. That's something that you can definitely put on your resume. Can speak monkey. If need be, I can speak monkey. <laughs> the Red Bandit, what's going on, my dude? Good to have you in here as always, man. Thank you so much for the 20 bangaroos. Absolutely insane support as per usual. Hey man, how's it going? You know what I would love to have? Is a Lego gummy ship that you can build yourself. Uh, that you can build yourself that or a Kingdom Hearts Lego set. I've, like, back when I was younger, I used to be all about the Lego life. Uh, I used to, and, actually, I remember one day making, like, because I had this spiky hair thing that you could put on, like, one of the Lego men, and it kind of looked like Sora's hair. And I also, like, searched up, like, a tutorial on how to make a Lego, like, a mini Lego Keyblade. But, uh, as a kid, I desperately wanted some sort of a Kingdom Hearts Lego set. Uh, unfortunately, still to this day, we don't have a Kingdom Hearts Lego set, but, but, hopefully one day, man. Here's hoping. Uh, the peddler shop, right, right, right. But yeah, no, I used to be, like, all about that Lego life, dude. Alright, slick. Oh, no, but we actually do have a real-life-size LEGO Keyblade. You're right, Chaos. We do. We do. <laughs> Things haven't changed too much. Things have not changed too much. That is, unfortunately, uh, a bit broken as of right now. The teeth of the blade are looking a, it's looking a little bit sad. I still need to, like, glue that up. Uh, Roxas the Somebody, what's going on? Do you think so much for the uh, one smackerino? Uh, good to see you back, man. Always looking forward to your streams. Just wondering, what game do you plan on streaming after Kingdom Hearts 2? Also, gotta head out so I can't see the rest of the stream today, but I'll definitely catch it later. What's going on, Roxas? Thank you so much for the, uh, One Smack Arena. Uh, what game do we plan on streaming after KH2? It will most likely be Rechain of Memories, so that's kind of like the next Kingdom Hearts game to sort of transition onto for the series. We're not really doing it by chronological story order, but I would say more so, like, by importance of game. Um, it'll either be Rechain of Memories or like Birth by Sleep, I think. Either one. Either one. But yeah, guys, we're gonna be playing with cards and shit, maybe. I don't know. Either that or playing around with three... three cool anime characters next. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Alright, Blazing Gem. Na -na -na nice. Grab that AP boost. Why do I see, like, the heads-up display getting glitched into the pod? 
There's some crazy shit going on. Alright, power stone. Uh, super back at it once again. Thanks so much for the five smackerinos. Uh, I watched and liked both Digimon and... I watched and liked both the Pokemon and Digimon, but Digimon will always be better, at least as far as the show was concerned. Um, yeah, no, I lo love the show. I've seen season one, two, three, four, and then when Data Squad came out, no, okay, that's where the show, like, really started to get, like, very average. But, uh, from, obviously, Adventure 1 all the way up until, um, Frontier, Digimon Frontier, with Takuya and all that, um, man, that, sh that, sh that show was so good. It was so good. My first ever anime, man. Okay. I mean, technically, Shrek was my first anime, but some people don't really consider Shrek an anime. So, um, if not counting Shrek, it's gotta be Digimon. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, I love Frontier, man. Like, the actual whole thing of, um, the humans becoming the Digimon, that was cool. That was cool. It was kind of switching. It was a little bit brave. I mean, it was a little bit sort of switching things up too much, but for the most part, it worked. It definitely worked. All right, we got a new ring. Let's jam that on. Um, we're losing one strength, but we're gaining three extra AP, so I think that's... That's pretty worth it, uh, even though we don't really have any abilities to put on as of right now. We'll keep the Sardinox ring on, I think, just for that uh, strength boost. Because we don't really need the extra AP as of right now, so let's put that on. <coughs> RT Renegade, my dude, we got all three of the... Uh, the brothers in here today. What's going on, man? Thank you so much for the insane support of 25 Smackaroos. Uh, what's up, my dude? Just wanted to say how much your vids mean to me and all the amazing work you put into them. You probably hear this a lot, but I just wanted to make sure that you know I appreciate everything you do, man. Peace and love, bro. Thank you so much for your kind words. I mean, it's words like that that really get the emotions flowing. Thank you so much, Tyrion, again. Appreciate the kind words and the insane support, as per usual. Thank you so much, man. Alright. Let's get these sneaky chests here at the back. What level are we, by the way? I'm not- that, this is like another thing that I'm not really keeping up to date with. Alright, level 20. Level 20. That's cool. That's cool. We're gonna be like level 26, 27 by the time we go to, uh, Hollow Bastion for the second visit. I think we're doing alright. I think we're doing alright. I've been procrastinating so bad with Rechain of Memories, I only finished the first group of worlds since I got it, because the gameplay is off putting me, and wanted to play the Kingdom Hearts games in chronological order. Um, funnily enough, I ended up... Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories was the second game within 1.5 and 2.5 on PS4 that I dived into. I don't know why, but I got into this weird mood of just wanting to play Rechain of Memories. Like, after a while, I mean, I feel like you've got to play that game a couple of times to really sort of get into the gameplay that it presents. Like, the gameplay is just obviously so different to that of, um, you know, regular Kingdom Hearts. Like, Kingdom Hearts is an action RPG, whereas Rechain of Memories is like this action RPG strategy real-time card game theme of all. Um, admittedly though, it is funner than uh, Hearthstone. <laughs> Or Elder Scrolls Legends, you know, those card games that are what all the kids are playing as of right now. Um, but, uh, no, it's it's still the exit of gameplay. It does get to me, but I, as, as I play more and more and more and more and more and more and more of Chain of Memories, I come to, like, realizing, oh, shit, the gameplay's actually not too bad. Um, it used to be my most hated Kingdom Hearts game, but now it is definitely 358 over two days. Within saying that, I'm not saying that it's it's trash. The story of 358 is pretty good. Uh, but the gameplay on DS was like... Uh, 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 uh. Alright, chill out, genies. Keep your magical balls to yourself. That shit hurts. And it's kind of gross, too. It's a little bit gross. But yeah, no, like, speaking of just card games in general, I've, I've always been that person that's been positioned out of card games. Like, even looking at actual card games, like, in real life card games, you know, like, Go Fish or, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Scum, and, you know, th those sort of things, I've never really been too interested in, <laughs> in those. 
We've got a long history of not liking card games. I've never played Recoded or Dave's. Recoded's good. I, I actually really enjoyed Recoded. The gameplay, it's kind of just like the gameplay of that of like Birth by Sleep, but for DS. And it's good. It works really good. It's kind of like the gameplay that I wish 358 over two days actually ended up having. Alright, Abu, do your monkey, your monkey business. Uh, yeah, no, we're seriously behind on donations. We're gonna have to blast through these. McDo, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for the one smack through. I find it ironic that Iago has a plot line where he was only in one cutscene and a boss element in Kingdom Hearts 1. He literally had no part in the storyline in the first game, like, at all. I know, it's kind of crazy, and then he, like, returns in Kingdom Hearts 2, and he gets, like, heaps of screen time, and they act as if, like, he was this, like, super ultra evil villain. I mean, I guess Iago was working alongside Jafar, so it kind of makes sense as to why the group would be a little bit angsty about him, but... I mean, maybe Square Enix just wanted to include more screen time of him in Cage 2 to help support the plot. Of uh, Agrabah in this? Oh god, we're gonna make a boot jump, that's right. Come on, dude! Jump, bruh! Once again, we've got another one of these sort of mini games where it's like, who came up with this? It literally takes like 25 to 30 seconds to finish. It's like the wardrobe mini game in Beast's Castle. We've literally just gotta tap triangle like a couple of times to move a damn wardrobe out of the doorway. Like, I just, I. Who thought of these mini games? <laughs> Uh, you can just play it for me, I'll just watch the cutscenes as you get me the trophies. <laughs> if only it was that easy. That'd be so superb. That's another thing though, like, I was thinking about doing the, uh, Chain of Memories trophies, but... Once I finished the game, I was like, okay, this is enough Chain of Memories for the meantime. Because I'm gonna have to put in some dedication if I want to get those trophies. Ah, uh, Daddy, what's going good, my dude? How's it going? Thank you so much for the two bangaroos. How's it going, my dude? Oh, we're on the same page. We're on the same page here. Uh, you more of a home and away fan... Wait. Are you more of a home and away fan than a Shorten Street fan? Uh, no. Cannot confirm. <laughs> we're back onto the Shorten Street stuff. Oh, God. Um, no, I, I have to say, I probably enjoy Shorten Street a little bit better than Home and Away, but... Within saying that, they're still pretty much on the same level for me. However, speaking of uh, Home and Away, uh, Kayla absolutely, like, she used to be obsessed with Home and Away. She would tune in uh, without fail every single night at, I believe it airs here at 5 o'clock on TV2 every single night apart from weekends. And uh, yeah, she was a big fan. She was a big fan. <laughs> But for me, like, they're, they're pretty much just the same sort of stuff, really. Like, I've never really been too interested in, like, TV sitcom series sort of stuff. Like, it's not really sitcom, but it's kind of... Just the TV series like that, it's never really interested me too much. Okay, we're not dying here. We're not about to get pounded. Like Donald right there. Almost became a roast duck, dude. Gotta be careful. Although, yeah, Al Stewart is a fucking legend. He is a legend. You're right, eh, mate? Stone the flaming crows. <laughs> he, he's it's beautiful. Living meme. He is, he is most certainly a living meme. Uh, King Lindala, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for the two smackerinos. Jared, I, came bearing, I come bearing terrible news. Things are horrible here. My two best friends just broke up. They've been dating for like three weeks. Junior year is hard. The girl I like is confusing. I'm all out of weed. I'm dying. I've donated <laughs> you my life savings. Love King. Dude, I don't I don't know what to say, man. I don't You just you gotta get you gotta pull through the rough times, especially when it's high school, things get very confusing. You know, you're going through very important times of your life. Your body's kinda changing, emotions are flinging all over the place. And the thing is you just, you just gotta pull yourself through it, dude. It's hard. I, I went through, like, speaking on a sort of personal level, 
and a, and a real level. I went through a lot of shit throughout high school, and I think that's just kind of like what high school is. It's a massive, massive learning experience. Uh, regarding, not regarding the education side of things, because, yeah, it, when looking at it like that, it literally is a learning experience. In terms of, like, actual life experiences that happen throughout high school, it really is a life experience. But I, I hope things are going all good on your side of things, man. Um, also, this girl that you like, if she's confusing, sit down and have a talk to her. Man. Get to know her a little bit better, you know? Because she might not be that confusing. I mean, she, she could be, I don't know. But sit down, get to know her a little bit better. Always goes a long way. We gotta keep Jafar bottled up. Or he's gonna destroy Agrabah. Uh, McDo, thanks so much for the one smackerino. Uh, I know Nerdy or Slade or Cardinial, but I want to see if I can throw my hat in the spicy ring here. A man asks his wife, can I come in your ear? She says, no, I could go deaf. He says, funny, I always come in your mouth, but you never ever seem to shut the fuck up. McDo, I know you don't really dip your toes into uh, into this crazy thing that we got going on here in the stream, but I gotta say, you're starting off strong. You're starting off strong, dude. <laughs> you're starting off strong, man. Oh my god. Oh, shit. We've got a particular theme rolling, I've noticed, over the you know past few months of streaming. We've got a particular theme going on. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. <laughs> oh my god, McDo. Starting off strong, dude. Thanks so much for the support and the memes, as per usual. Um, Slade, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for the one smackerino. A man walks into a clock shop where a beautiful woman is working. It's... <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that other one just caught me off guard. <laughs> that other one actually just caught me off guard. He walks to the counter, unzips his fly, and pulls out his... Massive rooster. Um, the woman screams, Excuse me, sir, this is a clock shop. I know, replied the man. I want two hands and a face put on this. <laughs> oh my god, the clock shop. Two, the two hands and the... the yeah. Because it's to do with clocks. and the, Oh my god. <laughs> You guys are killing me today. You got you guys are killing me today. Killing me today. We gotta chill. We we've gotta chill. We have to chill. <laughs> Sometimes I feel bad for the people who just like really aren't used to, to my streams. I, I I really don't know what people come in expecting from my streams, but I, I can't imagine it's anything close to what actually happens. <laughs> Oh my god. It's beautiful nonetheless, though. I gotta throw it out there. It is beautiful. <laughs> In a very particular sort of way. In a very particular sort of way. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna bust open the limit. Go, Donald. Go, Donald. Alright, crazy comet, comet rain. Let's do it. Yeah, Comet is so good! Good old Fantasia, man. Oh yeah, get some! Let's go! I mean, you must have some fucking big pockets to be just hauling around a shitload of fireworks Hello? like that, Donald. Stop your whining and hand it over! Oh no, I'm trading it for treasure! This lamp is going to be treasure! Okay. <laughs> oh no, you don't know! Get back here, you little... Ah, uh, the West Fire, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for the one bangerina. Hey, my boy, you know what time it is. That's right, it's poem time. I honestly didn't have one ready this time, but the moment the stream started, the poem just wrote itself. This is a special poem just for the stream, my boy. Oh, we're about to get a little bit deep and emotional. We're about to fling the fields around west. Let her rip, dude. 
<laughs> Looking forward to it, man. Uh, we also have another donation here from McDo. What's going on, dude? Loving the name change once again. Just gotta throw it out there. Every time I look at your name, it just, for some reason, for some reason, it just reminds me of Mountain Dew. And I feel like it's been a really long time since I've sipped on the old green potion. Uh, but regardless of which, thanks so much for the one smackerino, man. Hey, Jared, I know we're mostly a Kingdom Hearts fan base. But can we expect a Distidia MT Final Fantasy stream when it releases January slash Feb of next year? I loved coaching you through the beta stream, and I'd love to see you uh, bash some heads with Light, uh, Titus, or Cloud. Yes, I'm definitely going to be picking up Distidia uh, MT when it comes out early next year. Um, I'm hoping that the beta kind of uh, sort of notified Square that, look guys, you need a little bit of a uh, server upgrade or... A few server fixes because obviously the lag within the beta was just it was pretty ridiculous for the most part like 80% of the time the game was pretty much unplayable uh, due to the lag so um, I think we're gonna be able to have a fresh clean learning slate uh, next year when it actually comes out I'm looking forward to that hopefully by then the servers will be like golden and all fixed up so yeah you can probably expect some just streams next year and I actually saw something recently where uh, the developers of Distidia are actually wanting to put outside characters into MT, uh, meaning other Square Enix characters, perhaps maybe, uh, you know, uh, Nia characters, maybe like 2B or 9S. Um, that'd be super cool. But of course, the Golden Goose being that of Kingdom Hearts, I would love Sora to get into it. Only problem is uh, Tetsunomura during the Distidia livestream actually mentioned that Sora and Kingdom Hearts characters would not be making their way into the city, which is kind of unfortunate. But if they can work something out, that'd be cool. Oh, who cares, Al? I'm just so glad to see you, Genie. All I'm seeing is a bald yellow man talking at the moment, with the slightest bit of hair on the sides. <laughs> Damn straight, it's Homer Genie. Time for Plan B. I'm finishing you mugs off right now. Your heartless are weak, Pete. They're weak. You have those weak ass heartless, dude. I read about it once again. Back at it, dude. Thanks so much for the 20 smackerinos. Oh, hold on. We gotta, we gotta give some belly damage right now. Swing that bitch around. Hell yeah, dude. Boomerino, okay. Keep that shit inside your mouth, dude. You got that bad ice breath. I imagine that sort of breath would be sort of minty, you know what I mean? Fresh. Oh god. Hold on. Give us one second, Red. We got two really fat things trying to fucking stamp us out. These guys are definitely using their weight to their advantage. Tactical, I have to admit. Very tactical. Especially this one. I'm just saying, so Iago tried to apologize and Aladdin and Jasmine just gave him the birth. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, I mean, you can't blame them, though. You can't blame them. He was part of a, a terrorist sort of type attack um, the last time we were here, so you can't blame him. <laughs> um, oh. Actually, goof, Goofy, get in here, dude. Let's get that Valo going. We also need to switch our Hound Out Valo form, Keyblade. We're still using the Star Seeker. What is wrong with us? Thanks so much, Red Bandit. Shout out to you as always, man, for the crazy support. Appreciate you, dude. I'll just attack from the behind. Beautiful, and we got finishing the lead. Uh, super back at it once again, dude. Thanks so much for the five smack arenas. Man, hearing you say that you've been out of high school for three years makes me feel old. I've been out for 11 years uh, as of May this year. Got a question for you. That's, that's a... That's a while, man. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'll catch up one day. I got a question for you and chat. How old were you when, um... How old were you when you... How... Okay, we're gonna restart this one real fast. Got a question for you and the chat. How old were you all when Kingdom Hearts first came out? I was 13. I was 5. Um, and during that time, I 
like the year that Kingdom Hearts released, I ended up getting a console bundle with Kingdom Hearts, and that's uh, pretty much all history from there on in. <laughs> but yeah, I was five years old. With me for the last time. I'm gonna get you yet. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of fives and, and sixes. Damn! You guys were all five as well. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Two, four, eight, thirteen. And I think the really cool thing, you know, about the Kingdom Hearts series for us people that got into it at such a, you know, sort of early age, um, or as teenagers or as kids, is the fact that we have grown up, like, we have literally grown up with Sora and the gang as, of course, you know, Kingdom Hearts has progressed. Which I think is one of the kind of special things about the Kingdom Hearts series, the fact that we, you know, as a collective community, have actually grown up with this series, and I think that's... One of the sort of partial reasons as to why this series means a lot to the fan base, because we've seen our boy grow up, man, in Kingdom Hearts 3's. He's kind of getting those pecatoruses. You know, he's, he's kind of getting into shape. You can see he's sort of moving on. He's a little bit taller now. He's getting that prim and proper haircut, which R.I.P. the Kingdom Hearts 2 hair. You're beautiful and spiky. You will be missed. Although we do get that cool hairstyle at the start of Kingdom Hearts 3, which is good to know. Which is good to know. You would have been 9, Tricks. If I was 5 when I first started playing it, you're 23 now, I'm 19, you would have been 9. Maybe. 9 or 8. Isn't good enough. Give it a take. My thoughts exactly. If you have a dream, don't wait. Act. One of life's Damn. Is that, that's advice right there, guys. If you have a dream, don't wait. Act. Who are you? Axel. That's some strong stuff, Axel. I that's some strong stuff, man. Why don't we go see him? Sora? We go see him. They're always doing the hand thing. Ever since Riku first invented that shit, they're always doing it now. Alright, Pluto. Unleash some attacks, dude. Unleash some damage. Pluto, the Guardians of Light. Hell yeah, man. Let's get him more involved. <laughs> We've got something in common, Kyrie. You and I both miss someone we care about. Hey, I have a donation here from T-Storm. Like well, thanks so much for the two smackerinos, man. Yo, here's a piece of fan art I made for you last night. I saw it recently that you liked my Lucia, so I was like, blam! This dude is funny as fuck on YouTube. I'ma do this right now for I love the enthusiasm, dude. Thank you so much. Well, always appreciate a good fan art, man. Always appreciate a good fan art. Oh my god. Yes. Th this is this is it. This is what I've been waiting for. This is what I have been waiting for, dude. My whole life. For this very moment. For this very moment. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are gonna love this one. You guys are gonna love this one. Um, We got a juicy one. We got a juicy one right here. Oh, it's beautiful. The secret's out, guys. I really am Malusha this whole time. I, you, you've been played. You've been played. Malusha's true identity. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm loving those pink, juicy, voluptuous pink locks. Mm. Spicy, dude. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate ya. <laughs> Cynical Lucia. Sin Lucia. You're not Groovy, acting I like very that. Friendly. It just sort of rolls off the tongue. Sin Lucia. <laughs> hey, what is this place? It's the tunnel of too many nobody icons. Seriously, there's there's way too many nobody icons in there. A T Renegade, back at it once again, dude. Thanks so much for the 25 smackaroos. Okay, my dude, most times, uh, instead of jokes, I usually ask random questions to get your opinion and whatnot, so here's another. What is your go-to drink you okay? and snack? My go-to drink and snack, without a doubt, is Lyft, just normal Lyft. It's a lemon-based drink. Not too sh I, I might be sounding like a complete 
idiot as of right now, but I don't, do you guys have Lyft? You know, the, I don't know if it's what? news or anything. Pretty sure it's not. It's part of the Coca-Cola company. It's a lemon-based drink. I dig Lyft. Lyft is good shit. And, uh, this caramel slice, it's, it's a chocolate chip cookie caramel slice made by a company called Original Foods. Um, that I discovered probably about eight months ago since then, have fallen in love with it, and is my go-to snack. So, a good, nice cup of, uh, Lyft, as well as that cookie caramel slice. How fucking yes, dude. Yeah, no, we've also got 7-Up here as well. I do fuck with 7-Up. 7-Up's good shit, too. You know, that kind of, like, 7-Up, Sprite, and Lyft. Like, the refreshing soda drinks right there. They're so good. They're so good. Alright, um, we're currently up to about 50 minutes in this part. Uh, Agrabah was really, really fast. Um, we really didn't have any sort of issues whatsoever. So, uh, let's make our way to continue this part. We may as well, uh, visit Twilight Town. The really good thing about this is we are about to get limit form, dude. Have we ever like we've got discussed, um, VV's sexuality? Like, uh, not sexual. My god, what are we doing? I have just started something that I regret tenfold. Um, uh, <laughs> VV's gender. Like, I would actually be very interested to know what gender VV is. What gender is VV? Is it just... We, we have literally just... <laughs> so apparently throughout uh, Final Fantasy IX, Zidane and the rest of the party refer to Vivi as him. So apparently Vivi is a guy. Okay. The more you know. Fun facts with Cynical. What a do. What a do. I trouble. Uh, we have a donation here from Wes. Once again, thank you so much for the five smackerinas, man. Uh, red is an ember, eyes glowing yellow, and Agrabah he's known as the evil fellow. His laugh suggests he's quite unstable. The title of Sultan is his preferred label. His curly beard highlights he's a big meanie. He is the true, all-powerful genie. Oh my god, dude. Seriously, Wes, you gotta do something with this, man. You have to do something with this. You got that talent, son. You have that talent. You got that natural knack for poems, dude. I'm dead serious about this. You're good at this shit, man. You are good at this shit. Thanks so much for the support and your poems as per usual, man. Appreciate you there, Wes. Alright, let's get these, uh, let's get these chests. Let's grab that. Mithril shard. Mithril shard. Seriously, dude, like, write, write a book or something, like, King, the big book of Kingdom Hearts poems. Something like that. It'll work out for you, man. It'll work out for you, trust me. You got some good stuff rolling right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, Slade, back at it, dude. What's going good, man? Thanks so much for the one smack arena. Uh, a man tells his wife, I want to take a picture of your boobs so I can remember them like this forever. <laughs> wife replies. I want to take a picture of your penis so I can enlarge it. Alright. Damn. The wife's getting savage this time around within your jokes, man. Okay, alright, we're switching things up. Oh my god. <laughs> she wants to use some of that Photoshop magic. Photoshop is an amazing tool, though. Just gotta throw that out there. Amazing tool. <laughs> it's crazy what you can do. This this endless possibilities when it comes to Photoshop. Hot damn, man. Yeah. And this last one. AP boost. Alright. Let's check our abilities. Finishing leap. Mm, Alright. As we put that out. We got some AP to spend. Summon boost. Not really using the summons all too much. Donald Blizzard. How many AP boosts do we have? Because I'm kind of, like, I'm a little bit inclined to actually feed... Oh, we got 21. <laughs> we got 21. 
Okay, um... Let's do something with this. I'm inclined to actually give Goofy some AP boosts in order to actually give him second chance. We're being generous today. I mean, we went shopping for them. We gave them some new equipment. We're now giving uh, Goofy some AP boosts. Uh, it's a good day for these guys. It is a very good day for these guys. All right. Okay, we're good, we're good. Music Lover, how's it going? Thank you so much for the five bangerinos. Hey dude, how are you today? Uh, do you play any rock band or guitar hero that you could stream one day? It would be fun to watch. Oh, and gonna have the traditional. Um, I unfortunately don't own rock band or guitar hero, but used to love that stuff back in the day. Uh, funny that you mentioned that though, Kayla's parents, we actually go over there uh, from time to time, you know, for dinners and stuff, catch up with family, all that good stuff. We'll take it from um, but they actually have Guitar Hero, so I might be able to even, like, organize something with them to actually borrow their Guitar Hero. Uh, it is on PlayStation 2, um, but, yeah, um, I'd be inclined to do that. I haven't played Guitar Hero in a long time, though, uh, probably, like, a couple of years ago was, like, the last time I played Guitar Hero. Was never really good at it though, like the court the hand eye coordination with knowing like what one's blue, orange, green. I can't remember the other colours. I think it's yellow as well. Always sucked at that. I always had to find the easier difficulty where it only utilizes I think either three or four of the buttons. Because <laughs> like the hardest difficulty you had to use all five, I believe, and oh dude, no, I could not pull through that. I could not pull through that. Oh god, we got berserkers, guys! We have Berserkers. I'm a fan. This is not good. I'm scared. Am I scared? Yes. Yes. Very scared. I'm about to get a level up though. Alright, let's grab the big dildo stick. Smack this camel jerky around a few times. Hell yeah, the power of turkey! Oh god, Donald. Donald, no, I need you to... Yeah. Okay, nice. Beautiful. Okay. As long as we have the dildo stick, we will be safe. We will be safe. Oh, my eyes are increased. Impressive. By the way. Have you seen a man named Axel? I expect he's here somewhere. Like I care. You see, ooh, Sora. Axel's ooh, no ooh, man. Giving a bit adventures. of edge. Giving off a little bit of edge. Is he with the organization too? Yes. You have a front? Not a very organized organization. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sora, you dry son of a bitch. I, it's smart. It works. You know, you gotta hand it to him. It works. It works. <laughs> Damn, Sora. Not so feisty, dude. You're meant to be that goofy kid that we love. Not that savage son of a bitch. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. It's good. It's good. Don't let your guard down. Axel will stop at nothing to turn you into a heartless. Gee, thanks for looking out for us, mister. But I'm sure we can take care of ourselves just fine. Glad to hear it. Axel aside, it would break our hearts to hear something happen to you. Hearts? You don't have any hearts. True, we don't have hearts. <laughs> but we remember what it was like. That's what makes us special. Oh, isn't that sweet? Isn't that sweet? You guys have feelings out very well how to injure a heart. Sora, you just keep on fighting those hearts. I have a donation here from Red Bandit. Uh, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for the crazy support once again. Uh, oh, 20 smackaroons. Is Pluto some kind of portal jumper? How did he end up in the world that he never to want? Like Riku? So that's what? interesting. I don't think that's actually explained, like, in terms of the whole Pluto side of things in his story. I don't exactly hey, think wait. that is actually explained. And I'm hoping we actually get what a little bit more information and some like actual lore on Pluto and how he's making his hey. way around 
to all of these places out of my town now? Um, throughout Kingdom Hearts, because you'll also remember in Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, um, we actually see Pluto delivering the the letter from the king to to Sora, right? And it's like, well, how the fuck did did Pluto get to the, that? I don't even know what that area is called. Um, it's like the road that they're walking on before Chain of Memories starts at the very start of the game. Um, but who knows? Like, we actually don't know. I don't think it's actually ever been explained because as soon as Kingdom Hearts 2 starts, you know, sort of thing, like, the first thing that we see of Pluto is him in the world that never was, and it makes zero sense. Um, but clearly, you know, uh, Mickey actually uses Pluto in order to, like, send messages. So, I mean, maybe the King's got some sort of special way of opening up portals as well. We know that Mickey does use the portals of darkness and the, or the corridors of darkness, as, of course, he wears the uh, organization coat to protect him from those portals. So it could be a situation of, like, Mickey being able to actually summon these portals forward and send, you know, Pluto through them for whatever reason he might have. So I think that's probably, like, the reasoning behind it. Mickey most likely summons the portals and sends Pluto off to do errands and whatnot. Either that or, yeah, Pluto is the Seeker of Darkness. <laughs> Who knows, though? It is a mystery, but I'm hoping we get a little bit more of a uh, explanation on it in Kingdom Hearts 3. Because I, I gather Pluto will be in Kingdom Thanks, Hearts 3. But we don't really need it. Whoa! I mean, that's a good point. Maybe his collar might be magically infused. It's oh, Kingdom Hearts, sure. after all. I'm sure there's an explanation. Uh, but it could be magically yeah, right. infused to you protect him while Kyrie? using the corridors. Kyrie, Maybe it I doesn't sure do. affect Pluto uh, because he's a dog. <laughs> like, I mean, everything has a heart, so I would... I would say it'd affect everything in the same similar way, you would think. Alright, so... Station Plaza. If we can save this uh, drive gauge, that'd be super cool. That would be super cool. Uh, McDo, what's going on? Once again, back at it. Do thanks so much for the one smackerino. Uh, okay, let's see if I can strike a spice a second time. A husband comes home with half a gallon of ice cream and offers some to his wife. She asks, how hard is it? He replies, about as hard as my dick. She says, okay then, pour me some. Oh my god. Thank you for that, McDo. Yeah, I pr appreciate you. <laughs> appreciate you. <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Uh, Boss King Kazun. What's going on, dude? Thanks so much for the one bang arena. My boy, Chinakul, I'm a writer, and it would mean a lot to me if you checked out one of my poems in your free time, though I understand if you can't. Um, sweet as, dude, I will save that link. Oh, no. Let me create a new notepad file for you. Generally, with links, like I've said in the past, guys, I will keep them for after the stream. But I will save this link for you right now, my dude. Pitch black. Mysterious. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Thanks so much for the support, man. I will check that out after the stream. Uh, Music Lab, uh, what's going on? Thanks so much for the one smack, Reno. Hey, mate, did, uh, did my last donation go through? Also, I have a fan art that I made. Uh, maybe you will like it. Tell me what you think. Oh, we got more fan art. Juicy, juicy. I did catch your last donation. Yeah, the five. I sure did. Oh, uh, apparently hey! that page is not popping up. It's apparently denied. Hey, so how do you guys know Kyrie? She's become a stripper in Twilight Town, and everyone's talking about her. It's her new, newfound job. She's making a killing, though. She's uh, making a killing, but she's become quite the sensation around Twilight Town recently. I'd love Kyrie to see the look really on Sora's here? face after some news yeah. like that. <laughs> and she said she was looking for you. Tell me where she is. Well... What a romantic story. If you stick around, Sora's bound to show up. Yeah, he said he's coming back. Okay. Fully, mostly. What took you so long, Kyrie? <laughs> 
somehow, I just knew you'd be here. I tell you, Kyrie, you've got a lot of guts jumping right into the darkness like that. Get your filthy hand, don't you touch your axe! I mean, I love you, man, you're, you're, you're pretty cool, you end up being a pretty swift dude, but, you know, at this point in time... No! What are you doing? Don't touch her! Let go of me! Let go! He must have a strong grip, he's pretty much just dragging her in there. Shit. It's all good, we got, we got Keyblade Master Pluto running after us, she'll be safe, she'll be fine. It's all good, guys, do not fret. Do not fret. <laughs> Kyrie. You think it might have been Axel? Sorry. I mean, after seeing hey, Hena's moves right now, um, I Come definitely on, want a up. Hena spinoff. Like, that that I punch he went in for right that. there, he did miss. But you could clearly see, there was a bit of strength behind that punch. And to utilize that in a game within gameplay mechanics, I think that would be a close. lot of fun. <laughs> we need a Hena spinoff title. Ooh, shiny. Alright, music lover, I gotcha, I gotcha. Very cool picture of Sora right here, music lover. Very cool picture. Let me just quickly get this up. Keep the art stuff up, guys. I absolutely love it. Is that Rucksack? <laughs> Thanks so much, music lover. I appreciate you. Uh, the West back at it once again. Do you think so much for the one smack arena? My mom says I'm wasting my time by not writing poems or drawing for a living. I like to think of it as I'm just waiting for the world to calm down before I unleash the back. I'm gonna pull the heaties. Feel the heat. Dude, honestly, like, keep up with that English stuff. It's really good. You honestly do have um, some talent when it comes to that kind of stuff. Thanks so much, man. Uh, psychotic, really, Jared? Really? What is going on, man? Oh, we got limit form as well. Spicy, spicy. Thanks so much for the one smack, Marino. Jared's logic. Just message me on Twitter, dude. I will talk about it there. Because if I say collab with you, then I'll have to collab with everyone. But just DM me on Twitter and we'll discuss it there. Me, you can't message this account? Not only have oh, you the okay. power to inflict pain. You should be able to now, bruh. You also I just hit you up with a follow. To plant seeds of doubt <laughs> it's probably because I wasn't following you, man. So you should be able to now. Sora will soon begin to doubt himself. Oh, that voice. It will oh, cause that him voice. To hesitate. And that hesitation will turn to anger. That anger will fuel him to get rid of his apprehension and move forward. He will pave the way for the future we desire. Tricks, I There's feel you, man. Like I've meant to ask. I remember first seeing Kyrie in Twilight Town. I'm like, finally, they're gonna be reunited. The poor they're gonna share that special moment. How long will he keep um, then, of course, the no. She just gets ripped away friendship. at the last second by the scary the man in the black coat into the dark the portal of darkness. And trying so hard to she has forever lost the game. We now have to haul ourselves across millions of other worlds to be reunited. Well, not really place. millions, you know, a few more until we get to the world that he never was. And, you know, we get that big reunion. <laughs> Oh, dude. Alright, guys, and that is it. That is going to conclude a part nine. Um, 
Of course, we did Agrabah as well as Twilight Town in this stream. Obviously, because Agrabah really was extremely short. It only took us about 40 minutes, 50 minutes sort of thing to finish it. Um, we have a couple of donations lying here that I'm just going to quickly read over for you guys. Thanks, guys. That's some good moral support right there, Donald and Goo. Keep it up. And of course, Hola Bastion is covered in some black goo. Um, of course, what we're going to do first, though, is we are going to, uh, of course, do Halloween Town as well as Pride Lands before we make our way to Hollow Bastion. Alternatively, like, if we wanted to, we can just go to Hollow Bastion and get involved in the Thousand Heartless fight. But it is Battle Level 28, and currently, as of right now, can we open up? We cannot open up the menu, but I'm pretty sure we're, like, level 22, level 23, so we're getting sort of close. Uh, we have a two-parter here from Slade, so thanks so much for the two-parter, man. I appreciate that. Part one, uh, a man's wife comes up to him and tells him, Take off my shirt. So he does. She then tells him, Take off my skirt and high heels. So he does. Then she tells him, Take off my bra and underwear. So he does. Part two. Finally, she tells him, I better never find you wearing my clothes again. <laughs> you wanted it and Slade delivered. Oh... He's a bit, I don't know who this man is, but he's a bit spicy. He likes his, he, li he likes to sort of experiment around. <laughs> oh my god, Slade. Once again, dude, thanks so much for the memes. Alright, uh, Raid Bandit, back at it once again, man, with 20 smackaroos. Uh, now I want to see a fan art of Kyrie as a stripper. <laughs> Guys, we're getting spicy today. We are getting spicy. Oh my god. Uh, also, did anyone else think that Vivi was a Heartless during your first playthrough of this game? I mean, I was never really too involved with um, Final Fantasy, so I immediately thought, like, my first time playing Kingdom Hearts 2, I was like 8 or something, I immediately thought, oh god, like, this is a Shadow Heartless with a hat and some kind of, you know, unique clothing going on. Like, is anyone freaking out about this? Does anyone notice this? Of course, because, you know, Vivi's got the yellow eyes similar to that of, like, an actual Heartless or a Shadow Heartless. I was with you on that too. I always thought that Vivi was like some sort of special Shadow Heartless. And then I found out, oh, it's it's a Final Fantasy character that actually looks like a Heartless. <laughs> uh, McDo, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for the one smackaroon. I uh, hope third time's just as spicy. A boy asks a girl, want to hear a joke about my big rooster? Never mind, it's too long. <laughs> she replies, want to hear a joke about my poussey? Never mind, you'll never get it. Ooh, ooh, dude. Some savage ass shit right there. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Uh, you also donated another one, Smack Arena. Okay, that's enough of the jokes. Within all seriousness, Jared, you're an amazing dude, an entertaining YouTuber, and despite not having met a great friend. I uh, can't wait to do this all again tomorrow. You guys are so kind today, the kind words. Honestly, though, real talk. When you guys do send me donations, the support goes a long way, but even when you do include nice messages like that, uh, it's double the impact to me, honestly, because uh, it really does make my day knowing that people out there, you know, really enjoy me for who I am and my sort of weird ways of entertaining, um, to say the least, I think. <laughs> to say the very least. Um, but thank you so much, dude. I appreciate the kind words and the support as per usual. Uh, Nerdy, thank you so much for 23 months of support. Nearly two years of donating to your sexy face. Love heart, love heart, straight back at you, dude. Uh, also, we got a donation here from Panda Loves, attend Smackarinos. Hey man, I found this the other day and it really tugged my heartstrings. Did you realize that Shion and Roxas had both returned to Sora and saw Axel sacrifice himself and die through Sora's eyes? I know, I know. I know, I know, in Kingdom Hearts 2. Also, if you ever had a request for fan art, what would it be? Um, mm, a request for fan art. Uh, damn. I've never actually had to kind of like think of like a certain fan art that I want. I mean, I'm I'm always game for my Lucia sort of stuff. Honestly, I'm always game for my Lucia sort of stuff. But um. I don't know, generally with fan art, people usually surprise me. I never really get asked this question. That is surprising. I would probably have to go with... Definitely writing, like, envisioning this 
a fan art of like me riding Big Thunder Mountain, you know, the uh, theme park ride that is going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. I think that would be super cool. Something like that would be cool. But thanks so much, Panda Loves. And we have one final donation here from the West Fire. Uh, did you see HNK's video about shipping Shion and Riku? Personally, I approve. Um, I saw him uh, posting it out on Twitter, and I've seen it recommended in my <laughs> recommended section. So I need to watch it. I'll probably get around to watching it tonight. But yes, I did notice that he did a shipping video. Very interesting. I'm a little bit skeptical, but I think it, it it's going to be an interesting watch. I know that for a fact. But guys, with all that being said, thank you so much for coming down to today's stream. We're back at it. Another week of streaming. Like I said, this has been part 9 of the Kingdom Hearts 2 playthrough. In tomorrow's episode, we're going to be diving in to Boneless Town. Hanging out with Jack Boneless. He is actually the exact opposite. He is a walking, talking skeleton. But we're going to be going to Halloween Town, one of the very best worlds in Kingdom Hearts, one of my all-time personal favorites. So that is going to be what's going on in part 10. Once again, though, guys, thank you so much for the insane support. Very, very big shout out today uh, towards Red Bandit, T Renegade, and Super. You guys are just insane when it comes to the support. So thank you guys so much. It means a lot. Uh, to the rest of you guys who donated as well with your spicy jokes, memes, and poems. I appreciate it on the daily, thank you guys so much, it makes my day, and the kind words, you guys are awesome, right? I'm very grateful for the community that we have here, so thank you dudes so much, first bumperino to all of you guys, I will be back at this once again tomorrow, like I said, Halloween Town, same time, and until next time guys, I'll catch you later, peace.